championship after relocating from Quebec. It's the Avalanche on home ice in Colorado. Hello everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up, I'm Mike Emmerich, and now we've reached a game three, and the team that's on the road lost the first two. So how do they approach this one? Well, I think you gotta go to history, Doc. There have been plenty of teams that have lost the first two games at home and have gone on to win the series. So all you need to do is win game three. There's pressure on us, yes, but the home team needs to take advantage of that. So if I'm the coach of the visiting team, as I'm looking at my team getting off to a really good start and learning from what we did not get accomplished in the first two games of this series. The Flames put themselves in a tough spot, but it takes four games to win a series. In order to do that, this game three is a must. If I'm the coach of the visiting team, the biggest sell job I have is to get your players to believe you can get back in this series with a win here in game three. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Off a victory in the last game, so a start in this one as this series continues. The error margin is slim at playoff time. It cost him last game, but it didn't cost him the start here tonight. Nathan McKinnon, NHL Rookie of the Year when he broke in just after his 18th birthday, worth the price of admission. I'm Mike Emmerich with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. This playoff game has started. The Flames suffer a tripping call. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Colorado's power play is activated for the first time tonight. I love going on the power play early in a game. You get to handle the puck, you get to make some plays, really get you into the game. Calgary's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Rides the line. Not able to do that well. Cleared it out of there. Now it's directed to Landeskog. In with it now. Here it comes. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. Passing one off now to Lindholm. They finally get that puck out and so they can change lines. Calgary's good on that penalty kill, so we're back even. A smart recovery by Brody. He kicked it along out of the scrum. Great take, dangerous area. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Brings it in for an attack. Gathered up again by Barry. Good defensive read with that one. Calgary is in possession as they move up the wing. Cranks a blast. Great save. What a save. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Over four minutes gone. Nothing up on the score sheet yet. Abs with a clean win on the draw. Things are heating up with that hit. Neal's on a mission out there, clearly trying to set the tone physically for his team early in this first period. Nearly grazed the iron on that. If you don't hit the net, you can't score. Give yourself a chance by getting it. Picks it up back there. Puts one on. Good textbook save. Colorado's moving well through the neutral zone. Loose bucket went off one of the guys there. Solid work there by Hammond. The Flames move to center ice. Picks it up in his own end. Puck free, roadblock by Johnson. Looking to board. Colorado's moving the puck up the wing. Has it picked up. He takes that point pass. Did not get anything up. 
Good intercept in his own end. The Flames with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Let's the shot fly. Made that stop. As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. Calgary's got another win. That one right off his head. Covered, whistle blown. Sean Monaghan played his junior hockey in Ottawa for the Ottawa 67s of the Ontario Hockey League, an original first round draft pick back in 2013 of the Calgary Flames. The Flames prevailing on the faceoff. Terrific shot, but a denial. Steps in from the neutral zone. Has a chance to make a play through the corner. Whistle is blown. Now the penalty will be handed out. The Flames are given a hooking minor. Well, what he was trying to do is try to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. Colorado's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. Wonderful save. He got rid of it. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Goals have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. with a face-off win. Colorado's in possession as they travel up the wing. Fantastic poke check by Brody. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. The Avs win the draw. Using the point, he's got it. Tip to the net. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. The Avs get the puck with just a few seconds left on their power play. Gains that offensive line. The Flames have this game even by killing off the penalty. Slid to Jost. He's got that pass at the point. Missed! Now, this is a great A chance, but the game is 100 years old. They've never moved the net. Hit it. Moving it to Valimaki. And he steps across the line. And at an angle to Goudreau. Slid back across from one point to the other. Save! Oh, that was something. Pressure now. Skates it into the zone. Important interception there. Pitching this one to Goudreau. Goes back deep for it. Trying to go to Andrighetto. And he dumps it in. Pass attempt to Monaghan. The Flames are driving it from the wing. Directing that one to Kamenos. Puck is thrown to Andrighetto. Fantastic shutdown. Takes that pass from the other point. Blockered away. Fires. And on top of that, another great stop. What quickness side to side.
Well, they jumped up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. The Flames have gotten the first goal of the game. Perhaps they can carry that off the ice with them. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Michael Zone to zone to Brody. Time of the goal, 15 minutes, 44 seconds. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. They've been so responsible with the puck most of the night. It's plays like that that they just haven't made. This isn't the time to start being risky. The dump in clears the defense. Pitching it to Zadarov. The Avs are at the wing in neutral ice. Heads on to the corner. A great speed bump set up there. Cuts that pass off. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Read that play in his own end. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. Has that one measured in his own end. Laid on to Cole. Got that pass in his own end. Gathered up again by Cole. Snapping a pass to Landeskog. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. It's a 1-0 game. Hey, look now at the lopsided shot totals. 11 for the Flames and 4 for Colorado. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? The Avs are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Wonder what we're going to get here as the second period is underway. Let's just see here. Let's just see. Propelled to Monaghan. Calgary's carrying it through center. And a pass that just did not work and forces the ball back as far as center. Cut that pass in his own end. Cuts off that pass on the attack. Blocked. It's on his stick. What a brilliant pass that was. Waits from the corner. Pucks loose, denied by the roadblock. Pass off the woodwork to Lindholm. Gains the zone. He lost it, but got it back. Save there. The Avs start the rush up ice. Let's it go. Terrific point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. That shooter might want to check his stick if that's all that he's got in the arsenal. It's not going to score very often. Oh. 
Over three minutes have transpired here in the second. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Calgary's moving the puck up the wing. Around through the corner. A shot. He caught a piece of that one. Terrific save. Colorado's been outplayed for most of this night, but their goaltender has kept them in it. He's been exceptional throughout. He covers and has defused the attack for now. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Chip to Jost. That puck struck him in front. Took that away in his own zone. Slides it to the point. Shoots one. Terrific love save. Calgary's got it. On to Valamaki. Spike down. Seeks the corner. Gathered up by Stone. Points it. Right next to the line. To Stone. Big shot from the point. Sticked away. Oh, that was hard to follow. Covered up just to slow things down. Barlamov's able to cover up the puck. Get a whistle. They were under siege in their own zone. Colorado's prevailed on another faceoff. Colorado's controlling play through center ice. Collected by Calvert. That shot came from right in front. You gotta think that's a game-changing save there. Colorado's quick on the draw. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Slid to Kamenov. Stone's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Andragetto's going to the box and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Calgary's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Oh, you get your power play on the ice for the first time, you can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. Have a positive power play. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Great job by the defenders to kill more time. And now it's directed to Ryan. Carries it on in from center. Laid on to Giordano. Snaps a wrister. Lightning in that glove. Score! The power play cashes in. Sure saw this coming, Doc. Lots of pressure, zone time in the offensive zone that led to the goal. Barlamov's in pretty good position here, but he doesn't get enough of his body on the puck. It's a goal. Calgary's ahead by two and thoroughly out shooting the opposition. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. By number 10, Seeks Ryan. the corner. By number 28, Elias Smart recovery by Cole. Nine minutes, five seconds. Colorado's up the wing, controlling play now. 
shot. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. He's locked in now. Great save. Back to the point. Shoots. Great glove save. Calgary's played very well in this tight game. Their goaltender's going to have to stay sharp. He's not had a lot of shots to deal with, Doc. The Flames win it. Puck out of the zone, and so they'll regroup. Leads that charge into the zone. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Passing one off now to McKinnon. The goalie gets to the bench. Still, there's time on this delayed call. Calgary sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Power play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net. Eddie, I'm with you on that. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a, a solo rush. A shot. Score! His first playoff goal. What a great memory for him. That's a terrific play on the shorthanded goal as he's able to capitalize on a mistake and beat the goaltender. Calgary's hammered home yet another goal. They've got a lot of shots and now they've got goals to show for their effort. The abs from the neutral zone start to work. By number 10, Gary Ryan. Time of the goal. He's got that point pass. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Many yards gain to Andrigetto. From the slot of Rister. And a save. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? And the penalty killers come up big again. It's cleared. Colorado setting up an offense from the wing. And the play goes offside. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop. A little under seven minutes still to be skated. Calgary's up their margin in this game to three. Colorado's power play did not do it for them. Propelled to Andrigetto. Colorado's continuing to probe up the wing. Looking to Neal. Good job with the neutral ice intercept. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. Sends to the point. Let's it go. Chip to Hamannick. The Flames skated up on the side. He throws it there. Got a piece of that one. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. There's not many saves easier than this for the goaltender. He gets his blocker on it. He's in good position, and he deflects this away. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Crosses that line. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Great job in his own end with that interception. Odd man rush two on one. Got it at the point. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Couldn't get through. Moving into Monaghan. Puck loose. Strong defensive play by Calvin. Steps across that line. On to Zadaroff. Gloved. 
And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. Calgary's forecheck has been as aggressive as we've seen all season long. They get the puck into the zone, they get on the body, the puck comes around the boards, the D pinches, and they finish too. They've stretched out this lead by being the more aggressive team. Critical face-off win at that point. Carries it to the corner. Locks on that to Neville. Terrific determination by Landeskog. The dump in and some new defensemen. The play has been blown dead. Hard to understand why at this point. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was because that shot had no chance of going in. The Flames win it. Puck free, ricocheted off a defender. One timer, robbery there. It is a hooking call on this play. A restraining foul, and the arm of the referee is hot. Colorado's two minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Calgary's power play has been strong. They have connected once. Let's see if they can make it twice on this power play. They should be really confident as they enter the power play again. You've already got one power play goal in your back pocket. You'd like to do it again. Puck covered, whistle blown. As soon as the shooter drops his head to release the puck, he's already in the butterfly, and so he can turn that aside easily. The Flames prevail again. Great shooting lane. Wonderful stop. Slid to Johnson. Oh, it's very important if he can get that out. That pucks into the bench, and we'll have another faceoff. It's pretty funny to see fans fight for a loose puck, but as the puck's flipped up over the glass, you see everybody try to wrestle into position so they can maybe get their hands on a game puck. Laid on the Hannafin. A howitzer. Shot deflected. That one's cleared away, and that will take care of this period. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 31 for Calgary and 11 for the Avalanche. The Flames haven't given up a goal yet. And on the strength of big saves like this one, they might not the rest of the game. More in a moment. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two. And so will Edza. Colorado's got a real tough task ahead of them as we get ready for the third period. They know they're facing a hot goaltender. They know they've created a lot of chances. They need a bounce. They need to get a greasy goal. In order to do that, you've got to put yourself right in front of the goaltender. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Johnson's a large human, and when you really slow it down, you can really feel the force of this hit. Solid, clean win. Driving in from no man's land. Waffle boarding. The abs are back even. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. Swept on to Johnson. Right along the blue line. Pitching this one to Monaghan. Trying to go to Goudreau. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. 
Gathered up again by Cole. And has been the case in the NHL for decades. When you do that, you have ice to puck. And so another faceoff. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. From the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Can start the attack going in the zone. Loose puck, the defense was in the way. Propelled to Kerfoot. Huge hit in open ice. You go through that area of the ice, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get hit. Smith's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. The puck's dropped and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Let's it go and a save. A giveaway. Pass cut. Calgary is looking to head man up the wing. A free puck now. Takes that pass. And that's an offside. Calgary's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. A little under five minutes have transpired here in the third. There have been three goals in this game. They've all come from one team. As that one measured at center. Directed on. Got his stick on a changing shot. The pass just didn't work. Perfect, Brister. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Need to get rid of it. Look out, here it comes. Hannafin's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skin. Puck loose, he couldn't get by. The Flames with possession in the neutral zone. It's dumped in. Loose puck knocked away by Backlund. Dogged determination there by Barry. The Avs through the neutral zone, setting things up. Helvert's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. You can't run around looking for big hits like this. These come right into your lap. Solid face-off win. They score! They only trail by a pair. This is a great shot off the back, and he lights the lamp. That's a really good shot that beats the goaltender, but when the goalie goes into that butterfly, he's doing one of two things. He's either guessing, or he thinks he's got the entire net covered. He doesn't have it there. The Abs have closed the gap to just two, and there is time here in the third period to get another one, or maybe get two and get this game back even. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. What a tremendous hit. That's a physical brand of hockey. Gets across, looks over his options. Up to the point. In that defensive zone, an important play. He recollects it. Not through. Pass attempt to Gerard. Directing that one to Wilson. 
And he gains the zone. Has it back deep. Up the left side to Lindholm. Chip to Kerfoot. Is able to move on in. That one is pointed to him. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Looks ahead to start something. Puck is thrown to Wilson. Free puck off a defender. Moves to the corner. And at an angle to Johnson. Stole that pass away in his own end. On to Landeskog. And down to McKinnon. Looks over his options from the corner. Strong defensive play. Calgary's continuing on in their own end. Skill play by Backlund. That didn't go like he wanted. Skill play by Backlund. Fires! No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Gerard's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. Good clean win. And he hatchets one. Oh, a save there. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding him those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. Over six minutes left to go. Colorado's just gotten one. Let's see if they can get another. Colorado's got a face-off win. He's got that pass in the corner. Right to the point. Shoots. What a reaction save. He missed opportunity from this close in. Off that face off from the tie up, the help came. Really good cut of the pass. Pitching it to Barry. Snapping a pass to Cole. Colorado's along the wing at center ice. Right into the slot. Nice work by Brody. It's dumped in. The Flames realize they have to get this puck in deep. He banks a pass ahead. Sometimes the best play is right in front of the net. He took a quick look, read the scene, and then bounced it off the boards to his partner so they could get out of the zone much more safely. And in flight over the line. Holds in the corner. And he holds on and stops playing. Face-off win. To the point it comes. And it's a good pickup. And he dumps it in. Calgary's up the wing settling things. Sails it. Missed the net. Good thing that didn't hit the net. That thing was moving quick. It's dumped in. Scooped up by Hammonick. Now it's directed to Hannafin. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Then his speed allows him to close onto his man, and then he flattens him. This is a great hit designed to spark his team in their comeback. Great save at the edge of the crease. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Missed the net. Pressure now. 
And it's pitched back in to get a change. To Lindholm. Gains the blue line. Muscled long to Hamannick. One timer, save, but just barely. Terrific determination by Wilson. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Fires, great stick save. Calgary's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Avs go on the power play yet again. Let's see how they perform. This power play can't worry about the shorthanded goal they gave up earlier. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. That went off the path. Score! A rookie first ever in the playoffs. He sure not playing like a rookie tonight, is he, Doc? He's been on the body. He's been showing his ability to handle the puck and move it around. He's had a terrific evening. Feel good about that. And as the tournament moves closer to its conclusion, we hope you'll anticipate the next games as much as we do. This one was fine for us tonight. We hope you enjoyed it, and good night for all of us. <laughs>